Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Welcome to our channel. So this evening I'll be creating a card featuring the bubbles technique, featuring the Simply Sparkling online exclusive bundle. So, yay. <laughs> so bubbles. I can hear bubbles. lots of songs going on when you see Jay's technique. Oh, okay. Uh, so yes, yeah, so if you are watching the replay, do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer, as we we will say hello to those of you who have joined us live. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Suki says hello. Uh, so we have Pauline, hello, Mardi, Quinn, Maureen, Cheryl, um, Keisha, hello, Rachel, Nancy Amato, Be More Stamper, Caroline, Blink Bing Crafter, Pat, uh, Margaret, Mandy Allen, hello, hello, Kathy Crafty Sessions, and Lisa, hello, good evening to you, Connie, hiya, Beverly, hello, um, Mary, <laughs> happy yeah, Mary, Sunday to you too. Yeah, happy Sunday, but you completely confused me just then, I said, it's, it's Wednesday, isn't it? I had to double, <laughs> double think again, uh, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, Angie, hello. Janice, uh, Gian, Anne Marie, hello. Um, and Heather and Rose, thank you so much yes. for joining us. Connie's realised that you've had your hair cut. Yes, Barry did it. Uh, mine was done a little while Sunday. ago, but it looks a mess actually. You could have told me my hair was a mess this evening. It's normal. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I've anyway, still, I've, we... I've still got a hat head from work today. <laughs> shall we crack on? Yes. Um, yeah, mine's not a new haircut. Mine's just hat head, apparently. So Jay didn't <laughs> tell me that I had hat head. Um, um, so, yeah. So, lovely. Let's crack on. So, yeah, so Jay's going to be blowing bubbles tonight um, with the new Simply Sparkling online exclusive stamp set. So, let's go camera down and um, enjoy tonight's demo. Let's pop a light on. There we go. Excellent. Enjoy. So yes, uh, simply sparkling, uh, a bundle that is online exclusive, as we've already mentioned like three or four times. What is it, Jay? Online exclusive. So it's not in any catalog. Uh, it is available on our online shop. Um, it only came out last. I want to say last Tuesday. So, yes, if you have it, um, have you, what have you done with it? Uh, so, lots of um, fruits for in a soda can. What do you call a can of soda, I guess? I keep saying soda because we normally call it um, a brand name. And we were discussing it in our Zoom um, crafty chat. And, yeah fizzy drink and other countries call it different names anyway um the dice are amazing there's some uh coordinating dice for actually the stamp images and also you have smaller dies that will cut out um another die cut element of the same fruit uh, and then this one here cuts out like the sprigs and um twigs, leafings, whatever you call it, but it, there's four in there. So I'm, um, it's for the four different fruit. On there, it's got um, the lid, the base, and the pull bit, <laughs> pull bit, um, that you can use in metal, uh, metal, metallic foil, shall I say and a curved label punch so then it follows the curve of the of the can and a straw because it's got, you can create straws with that one and i do love puns uh, you're so delightful <laughs> that's funny uh, <laughs> there, there was something else that we said that they, that they missed an opportunity i can't remember what what we said about it so um I thought I'll do the bubble technique. We haven't done it on a video before, so I thought uh, we have done it in class like way a couple of many years ago when we were doing in-person classes. 
um, and it's such a fun but messy technique um, and you may have seen the card that I created for a blog hop on I want to say Monday now I'm only gonna be doing it on basic white normal card uh, there's basic white thick as well as the watercolor fluid I want to say what's it fluid 100 maybe I'll try one on it it has got a vanilla tinge to it I'll see so you'll need washing up liquid that's what we have but other um, yeah just normal washing up liquid a small dish or cup I've already put just a tiny pea size amount just squeeze it in <laughs> <coughs> some water you don't need much because we're gonna ooh, that's quite a bit uh, we're gonna add some reinkers on it now in my original you can't actually see the bubbles because silly me I, I wanted to use it I wanted to I wanted it to be very subtle so I and the color combination asks for a light green so I use parakeet party um, and you can't see it not really unless you really look at it hard so you want something quite dark um, so I'm gonna go green this time or blue actually <laughs> let's have a look now I asked Barry and he was like maybe do Tahitian Tide again it's a light color so I might do or Azure Afternoon I or, said. okay I'll do Azure Afternoon so we'll try it I'll add some Fizzy Pop ooh like that so add I put seven we'll see how it looks um, and then just mix it up and start blowing bubbles uh, please blow not suck because you don't want washing up liquid in your mouth um, Minnie likes licking soap. I don't know why. Or blue wee. <laughs> or blue. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And it does. It's quite messy. So make sure that your um, work sur surface um, is well covered. This, anyway. this technique will work well for a nice new joining promotion coming up. Yes, it does. The, um, there's a, a joining offer in um, Celebration. But that's not, that's not until next year, so <laughs> shush. <laughs> you can join now. Okay, I need some more. <laughs> I didn't. Um, my, I guess I can do it that way. I don't want to show my face or my head, so I'm just going to add a bit more. So I'm just dabbing it on top and you can see that it is there. I do like the more subtle look, um, but I'm going to add some more so you can see the colors a lot more better. But I'll just finish this up. Now some I've seen other people actually scoop it up as well um, with the paper. Um, so they scoop it up and let it go like that. But if your surface or your cup um, is small, it's gonna create that um, curve lines unless you do it every single corner as well. Um, so I, I prefer it to be a bit more overall. So that's why I'm just sticking it down. All right, I'm gonna add some more just to make it a bit darker. So depending on how 
light you want it but I guess if it's gonna be the main feature of your card you you want to make it really prominent I guess but mine is just in the background so I'm gonna scoop it maybe take off my yeah so you you, you get that side look to it what I also did in the original was actually lift it up from my um, straw. Um, so let's do the side without the straw. It falls and just lift it up. And also you can lift it off from your straw and actually lay it down. And what I like about that is like if you have loads of small ones, you can get different sizes as well. So you can fill in any gaps that you have. And it is easy to uh, to do, but it's also easy to overdo it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So. So have you done this technique recently or before? What you like about it, what you don't like about it? Any tips on other people as well? And if you go over on top, sometimes it just kind of like makes it a big blob. So I still prefer my first one, but I do like that it's darker, okay. Let's do another one. I want the smaller, not the big one. And you could also uh, mix in some gold foiling that would look nice and make it look like marbles there we go i think that's fine so that is the bubble technique shall i do it on i'm gonna add some more and do it on the watercolor card I might need some more water. Uh, I think it's fine. So three more. Always forget to um, stop blowing. <laughs> I just gotta like keep dabbing and stop blowing, or keep blowing and then dab even. That's huge. Here we go. That I'm gonna leave it there. I quite like that. Well, he says keep adding some more. So that's nice. It looks like a bit like tie dye as well, a little bit. But right, so put that aside. I will just use up the third one that I use because the first one was really light. I do like it. You can see the nice bubbles on there. The second one was a bit. That was the side one. I still haven't perfected, and that one I just prefer because it's got some light and dark shades on there. So I'm just going to put this away because it is messy. 
and we'll do some stamping blue with blue work as a red so we have paper I need. <coughs> so in my original, I did limes. I also used the Maribold and Bright um, DSP. So I'm gonna do that. The green. Yeah, it might work. So I'm just gonna stamp on the DSP. So you have background already you can Barrick and fussy cut and this is busy. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay. Um that's fine. Um I also added as another layer just so everything is kind of like stamped on but the stamp is slightly sm smaller than the die cut so I don't really need to stamp it because I can just lay it over on top so I won't stamp that a second time and then we will stamp some of the citrus one But one of the things that I really wanted to try with this one, um, the inside bit. Can you do it just uh, extend the corners? Uh, I give um, no idea. <laughs> it's fine, I'll do it. Um, so yeah, so um, what I notice is if you just extend the corners on top, just up, but um, cut in, on the inside on the inside so you don't see the black line okay. but um it doesn't matter too much because i did just color it with stamping blends because the corners um in the in the um in the main um die cut uh, or when you cut follow the cut line it just slightly less than the the um that i got I, <laughs> Never mind. So yeah, so um, the initial one that I did was the lime. So I'm just gonna do a couple of those. But the one thing that I wanted to, the first thing that I thought of to do with this one is actually creating watermelons with this one. Um, so you can just do that as well. Limes and wa lime and watermelon. Does that work? So you can just do four. There, they are, the segments are quite close together. So if you do want individual segments, the marker to stamp technique is better to use. I just need I have done a few already. I haven't colored them, I just stamped them. So uh, the marker brush tip, if you just carefully ink up one segment, follow it all the way down. And to save time, you can ink up the other segment, uh, the other side, or I normally do two. That's what you meant. Yeah, this one. Thank you. Um, so you have three half on it if it's looking a bit dry and then stamp I didn't clean that enough but that's fine so just continue doing that however many you need or want or you could always just stamp it and then put it in the pack uh, in the case in a small plastic bag Susan's just asked a question. What paper did you use when you were blowing the bubbles? 
uh, just normal basic white. The last one with the vanilla tinge is the fluid 100. But yeah, I'm just adjust some but basic yeah white that's just what? basic white. It looks it looks fine. If you oversaturate the the paper, it will start warping. So um, did I just see? I color colored the wrong one. I wasn't paying attention. Do you need to touch this up? Ah yes, please. Anyway, hopefully you have you get the idea of that. Um, I'll just do it one last time. Brush tip all the way down. Half on it and then stamp. As I said, I have got done in a few of them already. So I'll just quickly color in stamping blends. Um, I'm also going to stamp actually before I forget my sentiment, which is best ever, which I've already got on here. And I did stamp that in uh, stamp stays on. I find stays on is a lot more darker, especially on solid images. Ours is quite juicy. You might need to do it a couple of times because it just dries really quickly on photopolymer, I find anyway. Yeah. So that's done. Clean up your stamps quickly. It doesn't matter that it's got. Well, I don't mind that it. it's uh, tinged with black. You can see it a bit more, I think. <laughs> anyway. So that is done and I'm just going to color these up. So I'll do some, um, I'll do the lime and then I'll do the segments in. So the lime, what did I do? I did shaded spruce and granny apple green. So just quick coloring a couple of lines wrong one extend and then do the light If you can't, uh, if you want it a bit more blended, you can go back in and saturate the paper as much as you want, and then go in quickly. Uh, what's one of them say? And you could also do the stippled technique if you want texture. Right, I'm just going to add a bit of shading on there. The stippled technique is basically just dotting. So just add some dots once it's slightly dry so it's not blending in. I think that's still wet. I saturated it well enough for it to blend in. Anyway, I'm gonna do the second one. Maybe a bit more darker this time. Thank you. 
And then go back in again. Dots. Right, I'm just gonna add some more dots on top now that it's slightly oop, <coughs> dry. Er. I really can't keep to those lines. And then we have what is it? Parakeet? Parakeet? What did I use? Anyway, once I'm out here, I'm gonna color shaded spruce and granny apple green. Lemon lime twist with shaded spruce for the leaves. And that one's too small to do some blending, so that's fine. For the limes, I use lemon lolly light on the segment bits. And then soft sea foam. For the individual. So you can create different citrus fruit, orange, what, what other citrus are they? <laughs> Lemon. <coughs> and then just add a second layer. <clears throat> I think I'm getting you cold. some watermelons but yeah it's, it's the, just the same techniques finding well I use one two three four colors but one two three four five six pens on that um, just to give you an idea of um, what I like, how I like to color, and what I tend to use for the coloring masterclass, because I do do coloring masterclass mostly using sample blends, and replay are available on our website. Or if you join the membership, 
you do get access to previous classes, the replay from the Facebook group. Um, I don't send out um, the links anymore um, because I've had a couple that um, the payment fell through and unfortunately um, people didn't um, pay again. <laughs> unfortunately and I can't block them so from watching the um, watching the replay from the links so I, I don't send out links unless you're a member um, anymore so there we go so that is done uh, for watermelon I'll probably use the same so it's just giving you ideas of different colors to use um, I'm using again the shaded spruce can probably do a couple of those and then granny apple green in between and red what did they do Okay, um, I'm gonna try a darker shade. So, real red. Dark, real red. But yeah, if you are interested in the coloring mask class, do message us or email us. And light poppy parade. I just find that these two have got a higher contrast because it's one's light in a different color and one's dark in a darker shade. You probably can't tell the difference, but that's done. You could also add just to darken that area. Soft sea foam, I guess. I know watercolors, that, uh, watercolor, what watermelon don't have segments, but I quite like it. It works. <laughs> so that's done. I'll do another one. Yeah, we just done a uh, St. Nicholas last month and then our card making class yes last night was actually um, St. Nicholas as well right let's see if I can do some of these quickly So, um, is Barry in or out? What would go with here and that um, lime or watermelon? Let me know. Of course, if it's watermelon, I, I'll probably just use the lime in the background or something. Let me know in the comments if I get a chance to read it. <clears throat> so, I'll do dark this time on this middle. to have a different look I do get <coughs> carried away um, coloring so um, I'll try to keep it quite quick <laughs> to be fair uh, in our online coloring class uh, on our 
card making class yesterday, last night. I did do the St. Nicholas again. Quick like. Or my quick like. Just for those um, that didn't join our master coloring master class, at least they can like know the basic of what to look for and things like that. And where to add their shading. Yeah, watercolor. Or, um, what I, I keep saying watercolor, watermelon or limes or both. I think both will work. Have we had any drinks like that? I do like mixing my drink, um, orange and cola. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice. <laughs> um, I used to live with a a uni with um a German girl. And she uh, and a Swedish girl actually, um, so they like mixing their uh, fizzy pop, fizzy drinks, and I was like, oh, let me try those. <laughs> and also red wine, and I was like, okay. Oh, at that age, I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't really like wine, and then they they gave me red wine, red wine with co cola. And I was just like, that's nice. <laughs> and apparently it's, um, yeah, it's a thing. So I do, and then since then I have been mixing. Like you drink all the time, Jay. <laughs> Not that I drink that, no, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> um, I, I can't handle drinks. What's that one? two three right anyway that's done I didn't do a three because I did oh no I did there you go cool um, did you do a poll I, ha I can't see a poll <laughs> did you do a poll no I didn't no, oh, okay. sorry yeah. Right, I'm, I just make, want to make sure that I've got all of these in the correct one because I have done that before. Right, let us do some. So the dies, another funky die. So that one, I love that one because it just cuts. A nice funky design there is bubbles in the stamp so you can cut that out and create but it's a small bubble so you can't really you can do it more concentrated around or just above I guess and this one so of course it cuts out the full um, segments but you'll need to fussy cut these it's probably quicker to fussy cut those anyway and I'll do that one That's my last piece of um, pool party, so it's not the card base I'm using. <laughs> it's 
it is um, a bit messy but you can use this full circles in there that you can use for shakers I guess or accents if you I, I have <laughs> saved some before where did I put the die Just need three of those. What's everyone else been saying, Barry? Um, just chatting about both birthdays at the moment. Ooh. Mary had her birthday a couple of weeks ago. Oh, happy birthday, Mary. Um, or belated happy birthday, you might say. Yes, and somebody else did as well. Who was it? Um, Pauline's been enjoying making my cup holder. Cool. Which I've craft group, so lovely. Like to look forward to seeing that. And Cheryl Adams also had a birthday last month. Ah, happy well. birthday. Belated happy birthday to everyone. Right, that's done. That looks like a nice background to have. So for, I've got up this foil thing. Oh, that's way too big. That is the brush silver foil, I think it's called. It's uh, again, it used to be in the annual uh, last year, but it's now moved to online exclusive only. So it's still available, but it cuts the top, the base, and the puller. What else do I need? Oh, these. Okay. The key. way close that's gonna get hidden hopefully to show you I may not use it yes it does you can um, cut it and then ink blend on it the stencil and use it as a stencil it's quite um obviously if you cut it in like thick card it will be a bit more sturdier what else do i need oh one more for the base to just to add everything together you can use any card it's going to be hidden Originally I did stamp and then die cut, but the 
we're going to be layering on top of it, so there's not much point. Right, I'm just going to add these back. So as I mentioned, um, we do, you can purchase current stamping and products from our online shop. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, Netherlands, Belgium, or Ireland, you can do that. Um, and our website or the website that you can use is up on the screen. And if you use our host code, we do do a free card kit and class offer as well as free tutorial bundles when you qualify with your order. Shade this process on the top. There you go. Sorry, I'm tidying our game. It's just all over. Now, okay. So best ever. With this one, you can fussy cut it, have another like label. If you want, I'm just literally gonna embrace the wonk and cut that up. Well, try and have a straight edge, but make it really wonky so it's kind of do I want oh I think I wanted it that way. Never mind. And So just fussy cut this up quickly. So I'll use the lime next to the can and use the watermelon as I guess embellishments around. And the inspiration from that actually came from a Korean um, series. That I've been watching the last episode landed a couple of days ago called twinkling watermelon isn't that nice has anyone seen it <laughs> I do love it that's pretty much what I just watch <laughs> either on Netflix or um, Vicky. You are right, Barry? Yeah. You're quite quiet. Barry's not feeling well, he's got a cold. Right, how many of these do I need? One, two, so two of each. Okay, that's fine. Hi Janice, Jessel does craft with Janice. We also have Amanda and Susan, hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, I didn't need a three. <coughs> Oops, oh well. Nearly done, fussy cutting that is, and then we'll just <laughs> <sighs> and when I when I did this um coloring actually there's gonna be a global design project um challenge for next month, so look that uh next month next week, so look out for that. But if you can't wait, there's one this week as well. Case the designer. One, two. Oh yeah, okay, that's enough. Uh, and Alexander. So details are on the website or Global Design Project website. Right, that's it, that's it. We're just gonna finish up and make up. So the can is there. Barry, thankfully, has cut my, again, that's the merriest. Maybe it's just Did you say Korean series? Subtitles needed? Yes. I um, Some Netflix episode. Uh, there's some Netflix uh, series that are dubbed, but the most of the ones that I've seen are, I, 
I normally watch it with <coughs> subtitles. Okay, so it is slightly smaller and you can see the white edges on there. So if you want the darker edges, that's fine. I'm just going to add this on at the bottom and then lay that down. So I guess it is better to stamp it. So I'm, I'm just going to stamp it now and then um, build it up. So at least you know where you're going. I think I wanted to like omit a step. <laughs> I thought I could get away with it, but it actually looks better stamped. Hopefully that's in the center. So fill that in with glue. Oh, did, did you have a live tonight, Janice? There we go. And then just build up. So the trim the can trims is edge to edge or can be but I'm just lifting it up slightly so you can it makes a bit more sense with regards to that I'm just gonna cut that down because I that will be seen that hole or what's supposed to be a hole that will be seen in through the die cut which is quite nice so if it's not dark enough you can still color it in with blends and I will actually there's a area there that slightly white I don't know why it's white I guess it's supposed to be shiny but I'm just gonna color that in I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna call it, I'm just gonna color it in black, or I think originally I used what did I use? Oh, shaded spruce, just so it it matches the DSP. There we go. And then for the pull tab, does anyone drink cans of fizzy drink with a straw? I tend to just chuck it. <laughs> and if you do, do you do you twist that to hold your straw? Because I've been seeing reels, or I've kind of like I've known about it, but. I've just been seeing reels of like people turning turning it around so it holds the straw. Do you do that? I just wondered if many people do that or just chuck the straw in. <laughs> right, let us which one was I using? This one. So I'm just gonna trim that so it's not edge to edge. And which one don't I like? Is it one? Just so it's got a border of white. <laughs> border of white <coughs> and let's build up the card <coughs> Ooh. Huh. 
Hi, Vicky. Vicky turns it around. Oh. oh I was, it was just interesting to know if actually people actually do it because I tend to not do it all the time, but but most of the time I drink without a straw anyway. So that's going to go on right just in the middle. I know I'm covering the background, but the bubble technique was meant to be for the background for this card anyway. And I'm also going to cut. Oh, I only needed two because I cut this in half. <laughs> because why not? So just cut that. Add that on. And I'm just gonna put this on dimensional maybe three. Ooh, is that mini? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, so is that Tommy on your front as well? Yeah. So straight in the middle. down so I only added dimensionals in the center because I know that I'll be inserting elements I don't know if you're like me I tend to add more afterwards and then realize that I can't insert it in because it's always got dimensional underneath that's one. So I'm having to pull off the dimensional, bending the topper. <laughs> so if you actually look closely on some of my projects in the photos, they do have bends in them because <laughs> I would have done that. This one I'm just gonna add that way. That way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so has anyone spotted this online exclusive before? Who's got it? Who purchased it already? Yes. There's loads of uh, metallic foil in um, by Stampin' Up. You have rose gold, you have gold, silver, you have the holographic ones that you can use for the cans as well. I guess you can just do the full can as holographic and just have a, a label in the center so you can make the most of that lovely paper that, or card that you have. How did I have it? There. So I will double dimensional these and I will just add, I'm gonna add red this time. I added green originally. But because I'm going to add some watermelon, I thought, well, just a bit to tie it all in. And a bit of trim. You, I like my trims. <laughs> it's just hints of it. Right, steel. Baker's twine. I 
again it might do red just to tie everything with the watermelon I could have done two different cars but that would have been two hours I'm already here for now <laughs> I've already been here for an hour yeah we need to go on to Zuma afterwards as well <laughs> Well, there was a bit of technique at the beginning, die cutting, fussy cutting. And I'm just gonna add, I do want you quite small. center there we go that looks better just pull it <laughs> just pull it oh no I, I pulled too hard You want to curl it. Alright, and finish up with these. So one is gonna go on. Oh I need one of them to hide because that edge is <laughs> slightly cut. In. So if I just hide it like that, it'll be fine. Like it was never there. Like it's never been cut. And one, actually, if I move you to the right. then just add these on so we do have I use a watermelon uh, lime there but I think what the three watermelon would look nice on there so it's just basically just adding all of these elements with dimensional one two Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to add the backing I'm sure I had another tour where did I put it I have no idea somewhere all right I'm just gonna cut another one because oh it's there I found it yay right <laughs> and then finish up with a bit more bling which is I'm gonna use the glitter sequence again we have plenty And also, oof. green or blue? I'm gonna go blue just because it's gonna be too greeny and concentrate around the sentiment. I'm 
happy with my lasso. <laughs> That's fine. And then, it's not finished yet. Um, boho blue, I'm just gonna dot some around. Make it look circular. He says, I'm rushing, that's why. And here. Just randomly, I think that's fine. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> what? Well, you're going to count all your dots <laughs> to make sure you've got an even. Well, I normally do three. So I normally do a triangle of three. So one, two, three. Two of them would be close together. Um, and then one at a random area but that is my watermelon and lime <laughs> best ever S simply sparkling card so i hope you enjoyed that marathon um the, ori yes. the original is this one i just did it in lime and parakeet party for the bubbles which you can't really see it's so it's so subtle you can see you can see it, but it's so subtle. So I, I just wanted to change it up and add my watermelon. Lovely. Excellent. Well done. So, um, Connie, no, it's, no, not hard. Oh, I might have a lem sip in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm fine. I'm good. So, um, well done, Jay. Look, lovely technique. Let's just bring that up a little bit closer so if you can just see that again. I think that's just stunning and a great technique. So if you've, if you've um, obviously missed the beginning, yeah. Jay created the background using um, blowing bubbles. So like you were uh, maybe at school. But, but it was surprising. This. Some of you have never heard or seen this technique oh. before. So... Um, if you missed how Jay created these backgrounds, then do go back to the beginning and have a little look at the replay. Um, but amazing. Well done, Jay. Cool. Thank you. So let's come on over. Shuffle over. Sorry. <laughs> Just doesn't want me to get on camera. Um, so well done. Excellent. Yeah. Well, we're going to go over to Zoom right now. And um, if you want to come and have a little chat with us, you can do chat with everyone else as well or chat with jay and um, me that would be great the zoom link is posted in the live chat at the top at the moment so have a little um yeah just kind of copy that one and then paste it into your um into your browser and it will open up for us um but yeah and if you'd like to add uh no thank you again no. for joining us and We'll see you on Friday. Yes. On full Friday. Just remember, everything you've seen us use can be purchased from our online shop. So links to our online shop can be found down below in the description. Or you can go to that link right there. And also remember, I'm not sure if Jay mentioned it, there is a seasonal sale at the moment. No, I didn't. Um, which ends tomorrow. Yes. Um, so you can get, um, I think it's 10, 15 or 20% off of select products from inks to cardstock. And stamping blends. And stamping blends. And stamping pads. And stamping pads. There we I, go. I stocked up on my stamping blends. Yes. So <laughs> I, went through, I went through my chart. I was like, okay, that's nearly going. I need that. Yeah, so it's a good <laughs> opportunity. So if you need to stock up on some things, um, some staples, some cardstock, and some blends and ink pads and so on, then you might be able to save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, but that is going on until tomorrow evening, only. so only. For a limited time. Just so that there is the 16th of November. Let's just actually put a date yes. on that for people that are watching this after. 2023. 16th of November, <laughs> 2023, that ends. So again, just head over to our online shop if you would like to purchase um, something to stock up. Cool. Um, but I think we will end it there. Let's go over to Zoom. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. We'll be back with you again on Sunday evening, same time, or oh no, maybe even Friday evening with Fun Folk Friday, yes, Friday if we um, have something to do. If not, we will see you Sunday, same time, same place. Cool. See you later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.